Hey guys, I am hanging out at the Australian Reptile Park and uh, this is Jake Menning and he is, uh, he's milking venomous spiders. Can you believe this? Uh, check it out. All right, man, so what are you doing here? So right now we're milking male Sydney funnel webs. We do have, keep the females as well, we have plenty of those, but um, we only milk the males because they're a lot more toxic, about six times more toxic than the girls. So you can see a girl here, and uh, a male just there. So even though they're more toxic, um, they're actually the smaller of the two. So he's a little okay, bit smaller. Okay, so the male is actually skinnier. smaller, yeah. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And then there's the female. Yeah, but no one's ever died from the bite of a female. Uh, 13 people that we know of, though, have died. Um, from that guy right there? From males, yep. Right there. But we have not seen a single death since the antivenom was produced. And that's why you're milking them. Exactly, yeah. So this venom will get sent down to... Can you hold uh, that guy no. up right there with the in the case a little bit? Like, this like one? how you, yeah, 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 yeah. you can there actually you. see. This guy right here. You can see how long the fangs are as well. Really, really large fangs. So he is getting milked so that, you know, no one else dies, right? Yeah, essentially, we haven't haven't seen a single death, and uh, that's since 1981. That's when the antivenom was released to the hospitals, and since then, there's been a perfect success rate associated with the antivenom. So anyone that's got it has been all right. Sorry. Anyone that's got it has been all right. Exactly. Yeah. And there was a young boy just a couple of years ago that received a very bad envenomation, and he actually received 13 vials of antivenom. So how many? Okay, so so you're making the antivenom. Yep. How much does it take to treat a bite from this spider, and how many do you have to milk? Uh, I mean, because yeah, I see a lot of spiders here. I see I see spiders all over. Yeah, we've got a lot of spiders here. Uh, it takes about 150 spiders to make one vial of antivenom. Uh, for your average male Sydney funnel web bite, uh, you're looking at one vial uh, to counter you know, those effects. So um, yeah, about 150 spiders per per bite essentially. So it's a lot of work uh, here for us at the park, a lot of man hours, but of course all And work. you gotta be careful so that you make sure that obviously you don't get bit, right? Exactly, yeah, that would be a, a bad day at the office, but fortunately they are a reasonably easy spider to, to work around and, and work with. They can't jump, they can't climb smooth surfaces, so we don't have to worry about them uh, jumping out at your face or anything. They're, um, they're pretty restricted once they're inside the jar. You see me blowing onto the spider as well, that's just stimulating them to produce that little bit more venom which then becomes trapped so that that's actually like hooked to an air compressor right there exactly yeah it's like a little mini vacuum cleaner and we just uh, suck the venom up into the the end of the pet it's right. very very hard to see very very small amount but there's a bit of venom in there and what's in there at the moment could probably kill you know 30 or 40 people <laughs> so <it> was, <laughs> really yeah it would evenly applied very very toxic stuff Incredible. And so where do these guys live across Australia? I mean, where would you find them? Uh, funnel webs are right along the east coast, so Tasmania right up into Queensland. But the species that we work with is uh, Atrax robustus, the Sydney funnel web. So uh, they're only found within the greater Sydney area, which includes uh, us here on the central coast. And is, is like their, is, does their, um, does their venom actually like change like based upon the species location or uh, yeah. is it a so little depending like on the got species, a variance? Depending on the species will um, determine the toxicity of the venom. It just so happens that the, the Sydney variety, which is where the majority of people live within the Sydney area and the one that people come into contact with most frequently, that's the most toxic of the lot. Oh really? So, so these the, are the most toxic of all of them? Correct, yes. Dangerous job right there. Right there.